December the 1st, 2015, Dulwich Hamlet host Faversham Town at Champion Hill in the third round of the Alan Turvey Trophy. 13 months on, it's a case of deja vu with Hamlet looking to avenge the 2-1 defeat inflicted on them by the Ryman South outfit. It was a sense of great frustration on Saturday for the hosts as they came away from Canvey Island with nothing to show from their performance, with chances coming and going. As expected, Gavin Rose changes things around ahead of the trip to Whitehawk, with Sanchez Ming coming in for his 100th game for the club and a debut for Joseph DeBeo in two of six alterations. After beating the Hamlet last year, the Lily Whites reached the final before succumbing to Kingstonian. Playoff occupiers in the past few years, this season has been frustrating for Ray Turner's side as they currently sit in 15th in the table. However, they have eight points from the last four games, including winning in dramatic fashion against Godalming Town on Saturday. They make four changes from that win. Faversham's only ever win against the host came in that fixture last season. Can Lightning strike twice? Or will Hamlet book a trip to Ashley Hornchurch in the quarterfinals? Weatherstone, captain tonight in the absence of Kenny Beanie. Taylor. Dulwich defence has seen a lot of the ball so far, not so much the attackers. DeBeo, that's given away. Not the best of passes forward. Well, we'll uh, chip forward Jordan Casey. Can he fire in a shot? Yes, he can. Edwards parries it away. It will be a corner. Here comes low. It's unmarked in the middle. Didn't get a clean strike on it. Dulwich tries to clear Morel Williamson. Munger again. It's a nice ball inside. Bourne. Trying to loft it over the top for uh, Casey to chase. Early ball in. Tenue's there. Whisker away from getting a touch. All the way through for Campbell. Deep ball in. That's a good volley as well. And well blocked by Green. Acrobatic from Jordan Casey. Cargbo. He's given that away. Cheaply. Here's Casey. Looked lively so far. Munger. Stanford's able to turn. Can't quite poke it on. James is in the way. Yamfam got quite a low centre of uh, gravity. And he's driving on here, Louis Michel Yamfam to his right as Moreau Williamson. It was a great run from the youngster. Moreau Williamson to bend it. Great goal. Superb. That's the Reese Moreau Williamson we saw at the start of last season. But you've got to credit Louis Michel Yamfam for his determined run there. Just drove at the uh, Faversham defence. And Moreau Williamson was able to wrap his left foot around the shot and give Dulwich a lead inside 13 minutes. As I say, Jan Pham driving on after James had made the block. Covers some good 50 yards there, Jan Pham. To his right was uh, Morel Williamson, and he bent it past the dive of Godman into the far corner. <coughs> You've woken up from that goal. The other end, Taylor's got to be careful under pressure from Renford Tenue, who's got to the ball first. Only got one ahead of it at the moment. <coughs> May go alone, though. Support now from Campbell. We'll get the shot. A goal from distance. It was dipping. Edwards had to stick an arm up. Tremendous strike, but uh, can't find the back of the net there. George Munger. A good battle. Tenue against that defence tonight. If he shows that pace all evening. Weatherstone's given that away cheap this time. Ming can't win the ball off uh, Campbell. Weatherstone slid in. Rectified his mistake. James for Ming. Deflected that. Against uh, Dewodu. Good cut back. Stanford rise one challenge. Can he fashion a shot? Yes, he can. Tips away. And cleared by DeBeo. James will uh, take the free kick. Floats it in. Nodded away to the edge of the area. Yamfam takes a touch. Dinks it back in. Blakey had to get the touch. James has arrived around the back. Morel Williamson, drop of the shoulder. We'll go for goal again. That's a long way off target. Curling away from goal this time instead of into the far corner from Morel Williamson. But again, the confidence was there from him. Drop of the shoulder, brought him room. Cardboy pokes that on. Weatherstone. Again, good possession from the host. Yam Fam. Ming. Three in pink and blue on this side of the field. Morel Williamson driving past Blueida. Back onto his left foot. Only fashion room for a shot. Doesn't need to. Goes back to Ming. On for James. Went for placement, but places it over. Blew it up. Munger. <coughs> Went back to his captain, Bourne. So no Ryan Cooper tonight, so uh, Bourne's taking the arm. That's a poor ball forward, though. Sakadja and Dunnage have uh, men forward. Sakadja might get a shot here. He does. Flash wide from River Sakadja. Took a deflection. It will be a corner.
James swings it in. Headed goalwards. But a uh, comfortable hold for Godman. Header from Raul Williamson. Would have been a bit of a miracle header to uh, loop over the keeper. And Tenu's in at the other end. Sprinting free. Took a bit too long. And Taylor was able to close down the angle. Weatherstone out for Ming on that far side. Looking to burst forward Sanchez Ming. That's blue death for company. Cross deflects and held by Godman at his near post. No one had made that run in pink and blue towards his near post. Sizable uh, crowd inside Champion Hill tonight. It's not quite got the appeal of a league game, it seems. It was uh, 370 odd for the first round tight. Here's Dewodu. Good skill gets away from Yamfam. Sends the ball to the edge of the far side of the area, sorry. Stanford looks to strike it. And it's cutting off target. First chance of the second half. Joshua Stanford couldn't wrap his foot around that. Stanford gets it back from Munger. The intensity still there in Faversham's play. Tenney's made the run down this right hand side. Whips in an early cross. Arriving at the far post. Big chance. It was Campbell flying in, I think. Really good opportunity. That's uh, not turned home. Difficult one, you say. Having to reach on the half volley. Flicked over the top by Campbell. Again, raking ball out to the far side. It's not the first time that Edwards has done that tonight. Ming. In for Cargbo. Kevin James. Yam Pham. Raul Williamson, Sakaja ahead of him. And also to his left was Green. That's an inviting cross. Sakaja can't get a touch. Offside flag is up at the far post against Ming. Sakaja got a little, maybe a little flick on it. Half a yard behind the ball, perhaps. Again, they've got Green, DeBeo and Weatherstone forward. Taylor's joined them for this one. James delivers. Weatherstone gets up. Heads over the top, though, Mark Weatherstone. Rose well. But, uh, couldn't keep his header down. Wells has done superbly there. But then... The foul on James. <coughs> He's uh, not moving too uh, well after that. Here's Green. Free kick taken quickly. A couple of step overs into the area. Flashes wide though. Just hit across it slightly. Nathan Green. It was swerved uh, a long way wide in the end. Able to get into a good area though, Green, with a bit of trickery. He does possess that in his locker. James looks to get up. And there's Cargbo. Weatherstone. <coughs> Yam Fam got a bit lucky with the ball getting to him. Shrugged off it by George Munger, stronger than him. Well played by the Faversham number eight. He's turned away nicely and now they can build an attack on that far side with Campbell. Two ahead of him. Campbell run at Weatherstone though. Shot deflects. And it will be a corner kick. And Campbell will take. Gone short and quick. Comes across. Dewodu gets up. Thought it nestled in the top corner. That wasn't far away from Mobilaji. Dewodu. Edwards rooted to the spot. Wouldn't have been able to uh, do anything about that had it been goal bound. The chances are coming. Yanfam, drop of the shoulder. Mobilaji. Uh, Dewodu with the challenge though. It's come for Weatherstone. Thought he was looking to rebuild from the back. James. DeBeo. Oh, oh, oh. Wouldn't have uh, found a pink and blue shirt. It's come for Jan Pham now. Blakey was indecisive and Sakaja has gone for goal. Yeah. And drags it wide. And Blakey put in the block there. Was uh, under no real need. Allowed Jan Pham to steal in. Sakaja though couldn't direct his shot goalwards. Dulwich considering their first change in a moment. Weatherstone. Cargbo, Yam Fam, lovely reverse ball, Ming on the overlap, early ball in, Sakaja was there, come up for Yam Fam, Sakaja, offside flag, it won't count, Joy is short lived for Ibra Sakaja, turned it home, predator finish, the miscue from Yam Fam, finding him, but he uh, was offside, Yam Fam, Green's going to do his run, has to go out for Beanie, who, he'll go for Green, onside as well, Nathan Green, well timed, and get around cheek here. 
Cheeks done well just to hold up, halt up play. Laid off a yam fan, first touch in front of him. Good challenge on him. That was a fair block. Green rides the challenge, sends in the cross. And Clunis has headed into the keeper's arms. Has to generate all the power himself there, Clunis. Stanford. Dewodu to his right is Tenyu. Three in the middle. He's gone to the near post himself. Almost caught Edwards out. Well, I don't think he intended that. Edwards had to palm it over. Been one of the uh, flukiest goals you would see all season. Uh, about 12 minutes, Favisham, plus an injury time to find an equaliser and perhaps more. <laughs> Putting a good shift tonight. Beanie, a couple of challenges evaded. Green up for Tomlin. First touch, as usual, superb. Trying to drive past Cheek. He's done just that. Godman came for it. It's come for Clunis. You find a teammate, better place he can. Green. Good ball in. It is 2 0, and it is Gavin Tomlin. That long overdue goal of his has finally arrived. Good uh, attack from Dulwich. Tomlin was involved initially to get around Ryan Cheek. Clunis helped out. And uh, Green's ball in was delightful. Inviting Freddie Stryker and Tomlin made sure he headed home. That's uh, number nine for the season for the experienced striker. The same Green's ball in was uh, one any striker would love to uh, head home. Got in front of his marker. And Dulwich may well have killed this cup tight and put their place in the quarterfinal. 2-0. Don't want to switch off now because Faversham have shown their attacking prowess in this game. Blew it up, Campbell. Stanford have made a great run. If he can get him behind Green, he can. This for 2-1, just past the post. Edwards watched it wide. Debeo. I think Dulwich defence may be lucky to uh, keep a clean sheet if this stays the same tonight. Edwards has had a, a fine evening. Defence has been split open quite a few times. Here's Yamfam, three up with him. He's gone for goal from distance, that's ambitious. And uh, his teammates were a bit uh, unhappy about that from Louis Michel Yamfam. Tomlin flicks it over Munger. Tried the reverse ball for Clunis. Cargbo, Beanie. There's four white shirts on two Dulwich. They've uh, played it nicely there. Out to Ming. Tomlin, Ming's continued his run. Tomlin's going for goal again. That's into the arms of the goalkeeper this time. Again, was the target. Couldn't quite pick him out. There goes Tenyu at the other end. Exciting stuff, this. Early ball in. Wells can't get the touch. It's an own goal. I think Mark Weatherstone got the final touch, you know. Well, I don't think Wells is celebrating too much. I think Weatherstone, it might have been. He seemed to be frustrated. But uh, either way, Favisham are back in with a shout in this one. With uh, six and a half minutes to play. In the 84th minute. The goal for Favisham Town, an own goal. So there'll be no clean sheet for Dulwich tonight. I've been told that uh, it wasn't an own goal. It's hard to tell from here. It's a bit of a, uh, a blocked view, but the goal has been confirmed as being uh, an Ollie Wells goal. Brought down by Stanford. Sends in the low ball, Edwards has to watch it wide, the far post was scrambling. Well, Stanford suddenly finding room on this near side. Beanie's moved Green. away, although Green thought might be interested with a long run up. No, it will be Tomlin. Cargbo's gone to disrupt the wall. What can Tomlin do here? It's a long way over from Gavin Tomlin. Into the car park, out of the dog, Kennel Hill end. Dewodu, Tenyu. Another goal forces penalties. Away by Mark Weatherstone. <coughs> Munger. There goes Tenyu. Dewodu almost got in his way. Stanford. Dewodu. Well, he's the guy involved on Saturday with the late drama almost again. Green. Nobody looking for Tomlin. Stanford should be able to clear here. He's done a bit of skill himself. 
And there is the full-time whistle and Dulwich are through to this year's quarter-finals of the uh, Alan Turvey Trophy. They were probably in second best in terms of uh, chances created tonight. Faversham were repelled time and time again by Preston Edwards, but a goal in each half helped Dulwich on their way. 13 minutes, they are ahead. Louis Michel Yanfam charging forward, teed up Morel Williamson to curl one past Will Godman. And as I say, Faversham had uh, plenty of opportunities to draw level. Dulwich got the uh, decisive second goal <laughs> after uh, 79 minutes. Gavin Tomlin heading home and Nathan Green cross. Ollie Wells came off the bench and uh, gave Faversham a lifeline. I thought Weatherstone may be a touch in for an own goal. But last touch did come off Wells, as I say, with uh, a few minutes to go to give them hope. But it's Dulwich who set up a tie away to Ashley Hornchurch in the next round. Final score at Champion Hill in this Alan Turvey trophy tie is Dulwich. It's Dulwich Hamlet 2. Faversham Town 1. Kev, after Saturday, is it a mood of contentness tonight? Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's good to get a win. That's, you know, it's, that's, that's, the, that's the main thing. You know, after it was disappointing Saturday, um, not to score after having so much possession of the ball and in the way that, you know, conceding from a set piece. So that was disappointing. So today, you know, it's, it's, it's promising. You know, I, I'm not sure that we played too well, but it's... You know, getting a win is better for the momentum of the team, yeah. So, Clay, firstly, uh, good way to respond to Saturday, wasn't it, with the win tonight? Yeah, it was, it was, it was. We knew what to do, just get the win, get through to the next round. and A better performance would have been more, like, would have been better for us, but at least we got through into the next round. The defence wasn't necessarily watertight, but Preston did well to repel attack after attack, didn't they? Particularly in that first 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, um, Preston's been been good for us so you know we've had to rely on him a, a few times when, when things haven't been right um, but yeah you know it's, it's, a, it's a little step in, in, in the right direction. Gave you a good test tonight the defence in particular like test how uh, your resolve against a speedy uh, front two wasn't it? Yeah it was it was it was harder at the beginning with the big man with the big man on because he was literally just holding it up and the other one was running off but as the game got on we started to read it more and it got easier for us. We've seen quite a lot of uh, Chris Miller in recent weeks but how uh, exciting was it to see Louis every time he got the ball tonight was direct with his running a bit raw at times maybe the wrong decision making at times but a real exciting prospect for Charleston isn't it your old club? Yeah yeah, yeah my old club so yeah it's, it's good um, yeah, you know we, we're thankful for, um, for Charlton to send uh, and Jason Yule for letting us have um, Louis and Chris um, yeah, the prospects of him, you know, him and Chris, you know, being able to play in the, in the same similar positions and out wide the both of them as well. So tonight was was good for him to be, you know, in and around it, <clears throat> get a start, like you're saying, um, and and uh, causing real impact, you know, uh, you know, turning and getting at him. It was pivotal for the for the first goal. Really positive. You played a, a massive role in the in the first goal, driving some 40, 50 yards. You must be pretty delighted with your impact tonight. Really looked like you wanted to take the game to the defenders. Yeah, definitely. Like that. That's part of my game. I like getting the ball and like beating people, just being positive really. That's just one main thing like I try to work on and just get better. But obviously today I was able to like make that happen. But yeah, it was really good. Like it was a great finish from Reese as well. I have to give him credit as that. But yeah, it was good. Did that kind of thing early on in the game give you confidence the rest of the game? Because it looked like after that you wanted to sell the defender a dummy or a couple of step overs each time you got the ball. Yeah, definitely. Like when I got on the ball and drove forward and I saw I was getting away from people, I thought, well, I can do this all game. So whenever I got on the ball, if I could, I'd turn and drive, if not play safe. But um, yeah, gave me a lot of confidence. After that, I just got on the ball, kept playing, just kept doing things, like, doing things right, really. Obviously tonight made changes with obviously a lot of league action coming and the, and the trophy at the weekend. So Quaid came in, Sanchez came in, Reese got a first start of the season. How good how, uh, impact did you feel these players coming in and made in the game? Yeah, no, it's, it's good. It's good for them to you know to get a game under their belt, you know, because you know I think the team have had a, a good run of, of games um, with, with the same team, and the players been on the bench only getting a, a few minutes. So it's good for them to get like a good game under their belt, you know, get a start, <clears throat> get some ninety minutes. Well, a few 90 minutes, a couple, a little less, but it's good for them yeah, to get some minutes, get their, get their self up to speed again. First start for the club tonight, how delighted were you to get the game under your belt? Um, it was great really, it's a long time since I've had a 90 minute game, but obviously like, near the end I was a bit tired, but I was really happy just to get the 90 minutes in, because I haven't been 
really playing that much recently, so yeah, it was good. Please, the other, uh, the other end of the field that the, uh, the strikers were able to take their chances a bit more tonight? Yeah, yeah, I was, to be fair. It was what we've been missing in the last few games, so nice to see Reese get a goal and Gav to come on and score a header, you know what I mean? That's what we want. It's important to share the goals because obviously Didi's out and uh, Dan Carr's now gone alone. It's important to share the goals out between the team, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. That's what we needed because we were relying on Didi and Vass when he was here, so it's good to just, like, for the other people to come in and score and take the pressure off Didi to an extent. And you brought, um, you know, worked hard, moved off the ball, moved off the ball quite well. Um, maybe need to, you know, get himself a goal to maybe boost his confidence a little bit more. Reese, you know, uh, obviously getting that, getting that first goal, a really nice finish. Um, so yeah, pleasing, ple pleasing, pleasing, ple pleasing with the with the with the, with the free and their and their work rate, especially. You know, that's that's key. You know, we need real good work rate up there. What do you think Gavin's taught you about your game? Has he, has he had a big impact in, the, in this few weeks you've had at the club? Yeah, he has. When I first came, um, I was a bit hesitant with like clearing the ball and that because obviously I like getting the ball, playing around the corner, things like that. But um, Gav said, no, not mine, not mine. Yeah, Gav said um, in the areas like the final third, you do what I've got to do, get a players, blah, blah, blah. But in the defending third, if, if, there's, if I'm playing like that goal, just hook it and get it away. Yourself, uh, please get a uh, majority of a game under your belt. There's life in the old dog yet? <laughs> yeah. Still, a, still, like, still, like, still a lot of life there, yeah. You know, a few more training sessions under my belt and then and, and maybe a few, uh, a few more games. And yeah, as long as I can be here and, and, uh, when needed for the team to, you know, give them a little kick. Just finally, I know it's obviously not number one in our agenda this season. We want to get promotion. That's the, the, the main objective. But how good would it be to go on and win this trophy now we're in the quarterfinals? Yeah, of course. It's another competition. We'd love to win the league. I mean, get um, playoffs and get promoted. And, but to win this cup would be good because it's something more to win, another thing to win. We play, <coughs> we play every game to win. So, you know, we'll go into the game uh, and try and win it. Yeah? Each game, we take each game as it comes. Go into the game with, with confidence of, off of today as well. You know, a, a, good, a good spirit for the, for the rest of the team. Yeah, and, go, and go, you know, full guns blazing to try and get a result.